other systems and data center infrastructure. In this section, we will introduce the other systems and data center infrastructure. The integrated cabling system is a modular and highly flexible information transmission system housed inside a building or campus. The entire system is composed of six subsystems, work area subsystem, horizontal subsystem, backbone subsystem, management subsystem, equipment room subsystem, and campus subsystem. The data center's integrated wiring system mainly consists of cable routing devices and cables. Signal lines and power lines are isolated by cable troughs, in which cables are routed through the cable tray to other modules. The firefighting system is made up of four subsystems, an automatic fire alarm system, gas fire extinguishing system, smoke control system, and safety evacuation system. The automatic alarm system. When a fire occurs, it can quickly be detected and this information is fed back to the fire alarm controller. At the same time, the automatic alarm system is linked to the monitoring system, the power supply system, and the HVAC system. The fire extinguishing system accepts the instructions of the relevant controller and controls the firefighting equipment to perform firefighting operations. Smoke control. There are two ways to control smoke, smoke exhaustion and smoke prevention. Smoke exhaustion is mainly for the fire area, whereby the smoke generated by the fire or the flowing smoke is discharged to facilitate the evacuation and rescue of personnel. Smoke prevention is mainly for non-fire areas, especially stairwells, front rooms, and other evacuation passages and closed shelters. The mechanical air pressure supply and smoke prevention measures are adopted to make the air pressure in the area higher than the air pressure in the fire area, preventing the intrusion of smoke and controlling the spread of fire. Safe evacuation and emergency lighting. In the data center, the power lines which support indoor evacuation lighting might be accidentally damaged by fire or human error. In order to avoid the burning of the line, some power lines must be cut off artificially. Therefore, it is necessary to set up emergency lighting and evacuation indication systems in case of a fire in the data center. Lightning systems consist of a lightning arrester, down lead, and grounding devices. The design of the grounding system is shown in the figure. Grounding devices include a surge protection device, SPD, and grounding cables. SPD's setting should consider the protection distance, length of cable, and the expected discharge current of the mounting point. The grounding terminal of the SPD should be directly connected to the equipotential grounding terminal block of the lightning protection zone at the shortest possible distance. In this chapter, we introduced the composition of the data center facility. Now we know that a data center is composed of eight subsystems. Next, we explain the power supply system, cooling system, integrated management, integrated cabling, firefighting system, and lightning protection and ground system. That's all for this section. Thanks for watching.